almost all poultry farmers get into business for them to get more eggs and to make the chickens grow much bigger. And this can be achieved either using antibiotics or herbs. But for antibiotics, that may cause resistance. So the best alternative for us poultry farmers and for us as scientists to find out is, is there any herb that can be used to increase, you know, to have these more eggs and bigger, you know, bigger chicks and have better health. So in this video, we're going to talk about giving lemon juice to your chickens. We're going to discuss the benefits of this lemon juice when given to chickens, how to prepare this lemon juice and the inclusion level. Because if we give overdose or underdose, we are not going to get the desires or the desired result. So, so before we do get into more details about what I'm going to discuss today, please, please, please subscribe to this channel and you know comment below if you have any other question about you know this topic or if you want me to do a topic, a video about this kind of ideas. So the first thing is that lemon juice is made of two acids. We have the citric acid and the ascorbic acid, and these two acids may vary depending on the time of harvest of your lemon and the soil where the lemon is growing, generally the environment where the lemon is growing. But generally, these two are usually present in lemons, in lemon juice. And citric acid is the one which is commonly higher compared to ascorbic acid. And the most common pH level is 3.87 for this lemon juice. So some of the benefits include, sometimes you may see that your chickens may be sicky and a sick, a sick bird may produce, you know, may have laughed feathers, may have anorexia that is not, you know, may lack appetite and it may be depressed and it may have diarrhea and that may be due to an infection or due to proliferation or increase of bacteria in the chickens. And one of those bacteria is the E. coli. E. coli usually proliferate and most especially when the bird is sick. So when this bird, which is found in the gut naturally, when it increases in number, it's going to, af to affect the production of the bird. So when giving lemon juice to your chickens, it has those antibacterial properties which are going to prevent the increase of this bacteria. So here is that lemon juice has antibacterial properties, so it's going to prevent most of the common, most common diseases in poultry. The other thing is that mostly farmers, you have said that want to get or want to make their chickens grow much bigger. And that, you know, that may not be possible in normal conditions, especially for chicks, because when the chick is developing, it does not have all of those, you know, systems working properly. Especially when the chick is developing, it may not have, you know, the, the, the gastric, you know, the stomach of the chicken may not be able to produce enough acid. So, and for the proteins to be digested well by the digestive enzymes such as pepsin, it has to have an acidic media. So, lemon juice has acids. So, it's going to help in the protein digestion because the chick is not producing enough acid for it to digest proteins. And we know that proteins usually helps in making the chick grow much faster and much bigger. So, it's going to increase protein digestion. The other thing is that in bigger birds or in broilers, layers, or, or even the local chickens, any other bird is going to increase feed intake and also it's going to increase feed efficiency. So the even if the chick will eat or the chicken will eat more, that also that feed will be will be easily be digested and be absorbed in the system that is feed absorption. So the other importance is that we know that if you have a new car, you know that the wheels are new. And if you have an, an old car, if you compare this cars, new wheels, old wheels, the new wheels will be able to move more easily in a muddy road. The same apply, this principle applies the same to lemon juice. Lemon juice has prebiotics. And this prebiotic usually enhances the health of your bud and also it removes harmful elements in the bud. So if the buds you know, you know, have, a, have a very good environment for them to grow, it's going to ensure that their production is higher. So you're going to get more eggs and bigger buds it is going to be profitable to you. The other thing is that during summer, you know, the temperatures will be so high. So lemon juice is going to prevent those high temperatures which may affect your production. So it's going to act as a heat moderator inside the system of the bird. So now we have discussed about the benefits yeah, and what lemon juice contains. So let's discuss how are you going to prepare this lemon juice. First, you're going to cut lemon. You know how to cut lemon. 
into two parts and then we're going to squeeze the juice very very well and then you're going to filter the seeds and then now you're going to get the what the lemon juice and then now you're going to add it to feeds and if you're not going to do that the same same day you can refrigerate this lemon juice and then do it you know maybe you can do it tomorrow or the or other day but the best is to do it fresh fresh so yeah so before you get to the cushion level i will be producing premium content for for some viewers who want to learn more about this kind of organic farming so because you cannot find this video on, on youtube because this this content is not already there but me uh, but for me i have access to this information i will be sharing sharing with you at least 10 premium videos to some viewers who may want to subscribe to such kind of content apart from the ones that I usually post on Facebook uh, or here, here on YouTube once once and in a while but I'll be making specific videos for my premium content viewers if you like to join that you know that course find the link in the description and more details yeah we'll be discussing more about chicks you know layers broilers and the rest in terms of health and maximum production so let us get into into the inclusion level so for this you have said that if you go beyond an other dose or beyond high that's of our dose it's going to work not it's going to make you not get the desired you know the desired results so i'm going to show you the specific amount that you require so that you can add it in the feeds that i've seen here this one you're not adding in water so you're going to add 20 millimeters of lemon juice to feeds and then mix very well and then now you can give to your chickens and be sure that you're going to get all these results as expected by this research that, that was carried out by a scientist. Here I would like to answer most of the commonly asked questions about this kind of farming. So some question I see that is this best to give to your chicks? So for chicks you're supposed to give after the second week. You should not give the first week before, because the first week we should give the, the glucose, the paraffin, so for the first week, don't give that because we don't want to mix those two ingredients. So now this you can give from the second week and then you should give and then see how the chicks will respond. The question the social see is that whether you should give this either in feeds or in water. For this one, I would recommend to give in feeds. But you can also give in water because this, this research was carried out. The scientist put the lemon juice in feeds so for best results you should put in feeds but you can either but you can also put in water and you expect to get similar results the other question that I see is that can this be replaced by vaccines my answer is that you should always vaccinate your chickens this is not a replacement from the normal vaccines so i hope that this video was beneficial to you click on this video here to learn about how aloe vera gel can be used for your broilers.